If you're interested in van life and are wondering roughly how much it costs every month, today I'm going to break down how much the last month has cost me whilst I've been living full time in this van. So just a little bit of background and context on me and this van so you're aware. You can see it's not a fully converted van at the moment, it is just insulated, I've got a mattress in it and just down here at the front I've got like cooking facilities and toilet facilities and things like that. I do own a house, so it's currently being renovated and there is nothing in it, there's no bathrooms, there's no kitchen, there's no anything. So I am living just full time in here. I do go and like park on the driveway there and things like that quite often. And I am using friends and family for like washing facilities, bit of cooking, things like that. But I am going to include those things in the cost because I am paying to use the facilities like when I go and do like a wash at my sisters and things I would give her some money for it and obviously if you don't have those facilities and you're out and about then you would have to go to a laundrette or you know things like that but these are just my costs and what it's cost me for the past four weeks or so living in this van the cost of living in a van can obviously be it can range so so much depending on what you do where you're staying whether you're driving a lot or whatever for me I tend to stay pretty local to my house during like for four days or so and then three days i'm traveling around clocking up quite a few miles i'm probably driving kind of at least 100 150 miles away from my home each week and obviously returning so that gives you an idea on how much i'm traveling the first cost is obviously diesel same what i've said about how much i've been traveling this month i have put in 140 pounds of diesel which isn't too bad to be honest considering how much i feel like i've been traveling around but yeah 140 pound i spent on diesel that number is obviously up to you if you are full-time traveling and traveling miles every day that number is going to be much higher if you are just staying in one place generally it's going to be much lower park ups can potentially then be another big cost for me i either am parking on my driveway at home or I tend to just park on side streets and streets and so I generally do have free park ups. I have a couple of nights this month stayed at campsites with friends and things but when I do I try to find like really cheap ones. I've done three nights and it has been £10 a night so I've spent £30 on overnight parking this month which I think is pretty good. I'm a member of Pure Gym in the UK and I pay £37 a month which gives me access to any Pure Gym around the country which is great because I get to go and have a workout and then I also get to have a shower. That is where I am. Oh, there's cars going past me off in my camera. That is where I um, have my showers at a Pure Gym. So yeah, £37 to be able to have a shower. Insurance on this van, I pay £600 a year insurance which is about 50 quid a month that I have to pay on insurance which isn't too bad I don't think it seems to be about the average when I talk to other people that seems to be about the cost that um that most people have about 600 pound a year when I'm out and about I need to have internet I do go into uh, libraries cafes and things and use their internet but I have my phone with internet that costs me 20 pounds a month so that when I am like right now I'm literally just parked on the side of a road there's a field over there and I am um hotspot in my laptop to my phone to be able to use the internet so that is yeah 20 pounds a month for for internet access groceries and food shopping is another big cost for me i am predominantly plant-based and so the food just tend to be pretty cheap i it's basically vegetables and beans and things so i don't spend that much on food in all honesty the last four weeks I've spent 150, 150 pounds on on my food bill. I do tend to, at the moment, because I haven't got a fridge and this van isn't fully converted, I do tend to store a little bit of food at either my house or at my sister's house in her fridge, which does bring the cost down a little bit, I think, because I can buy more, not in bulk necessarily, but, well, yeah, yeah, in bulk. Like, I don't buy, if I was living in the van full time, probably... You know, probably buy more sort of convenience rices or stuff like that whereas i can just buy rice in bulk store it there and then just go and like, get some when i need to so that definitely does bring the cost down i've got on my phone my notes and i've just labeled this category like fun activities just anything that i've kind of done if i've 
met up with friends, gone out with for a drink or something, just anything that didn't really fit into the other categories that are sort of entertainment things. I spent £100 this month on on those types of things, which again, that number could literally be zero for you or it could be hundreds and hundreds depending on what you get up to. I do have a gas stove in here that I do use more so when I am out exploring and obviously I have to get like little little gas things for that and I've just bought one of those this month um, or not one like a pack of them so that was a tenner. Laundry like I said at the beginning if I wasn't able to use friends and families laundry facilities i'd have to go to a laundrette and do my laundry but my situation at the moment is that i just do my washing generally at my sister's house and i just pay her a small amount depending on how much laundry i'm doing and that's just cost me 10 pounds this month a big one or my biggest cost this month i haven't actually paid it yet but it will be probably tomorrow that i'm gonna have to pay it i'll show you my windscreen at the moment Last week as I was driving back from visiting a friend for the week, a little stone just hit my windscreen and it has just got bigger and bigger and bigger, that crack. I've had a quote for it, about £600. <laughs> five, five, six, 550 I think it was, something like that. So I need to get that sorted. So obviously vehicle maintenance is a big one. Things will probably go wrong with your vehicle. Well, things will definitely go wrong with your vehicle. And so that is going to be a huge cost for me this month. I'm not going to include that cost in my overall monthly cost but what i will say is that i'm gonna include like a 50 pound sort of saves money that each month i put into an account so that if something does go wrong with the van you know hopefully i've got a bit of money there to be able to pay for that for that thing that has gone wrong i think it's important to do that because all of a sudden you don't want to be hit with a 500 pound bill like i'm about to be there is the cost obviously of getting your van mot or serviced I haven't had that done this month. I probably should include like a little bit of a monthly, um, a monthly total in this because it will have to be done. It's just that it's obviously it's just paid once a year. Maybe I'll stick in maybe an extra 30 quid or so that for MOTs and servicing and things. It's probably not as high as that, but we'll just say 30 pounds. So just quickly, Totter these all up. That means that in the last four weeks, living in this van full time, but you know, using friends and family's facilities, it's cost me six hundred and seven pounds. Which, to be honest, I'm kind of quite surprised at that total. Six hundred and seven. I thought it would be cheaper than that, but six hundred and seven pound is how much it has cost me definitely by not using campsites that cost has been massively massively brought down if you think about it if you're paying even if you're paying 10 pounds a night on um on overnight parking you still you know you're still 30 days it's still 300 pounds whereas i've only paid 30 pounds this month on overnight parking so there you go they're my total costs for the month if you are a full-time van lifer i would love to know like who does it better, not better than me, but you know, who properly is in a converted van out and about. I would love to know what your costs are down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you in the next. Bye.